Hey, this is Nick from Gel Tactical or Gel Storm in the USA. And these are the M4s that we currently have on our Gel Tactical website. Now, I'd just like to point out that these are toys and they're made of plastic. And the triggers are not supposed to be forced when they're in the safety position. When they're in the safety position, you can see the trigger is not going to go further than that. However, if you keep pulling on it, there's a chance you could break it off. Now, we don't warrant that because it's almost impossible to break that trigger off. But just want to point that out. So when your friends are picking them up or when you pick it up out of the box and it's on safety and you're pulling on this thing and it doesn't seem to want to fire, but you keep pulling on it until you actually snap the trigger off, well, that's not a warranty issue. That is user issue, okay? So when you've got this on, on that single shot, you can see the trigger's moving back and forth. And of course, when it's on full auto, same thing. It won't break. Now this goes for both, for both these products. Same thing with the Marksman. If it's on safety, it's obviously not gonna go any further than that. And if you keep pulling on it, well, like I said, you could break it off. You see there, it won't, it will move and it, it's impossible to break this off. As long as you've got it on single shot or full auto, it can't happen. Now, I'm going to go through a little bit on these. They don't come with gels. So when you order one of these products, you need to order gels from our website. And these are the famous Ausgel gels, which are made for this type of gel soft gel blaster okay so I'm gonna start over here with the silver back and when, if you haven't had something like this before it can be confusing to know where this the battery actually goes so what you do is it's got a lever here you pull it down and you pull the stock off and then inside of here there's the wiring which is not always so easy to get because it's really stuffed down inside that buffer tube. But here it comes, there we go. So there's your wiring harness, which is located inside the buffer tube. This is your battery, and you have the black plug, which only fits one way into the female side here. It kind of has like a clip on the top of the female side, and it has like a little horn here on top of the male side and that just fits in there like well you know I've had my glasses on it'd be a lot easier but all right it'll go in there there we go so she's in so the battery um, you just kind of push the wiring back into here into the buffer tube and then you kind of stick the battery down inside of here Okay, it doesn't want to go that way, so we're going to go this way. So what you've got to do is you've got to be careful of the wiring when you put the stock back on. So I just kind of twist it up a little bit so it doesn't catch. And then you slide the stock back over the buffer tube. You pull this lever back up. And there you go, it slides down. So now that's attached, you've got power. The next thing is the mag. Now the mag on both of these products uh, is very similar so it has a hatch on the top of the mag and this is where the gels go now when you're putting the gels in here um, you, you you hydrate them water and the instructions are on the back of the pack just hold them. I'm going to get a bucket with some gels in it hold there for a second okay so this is a five gallon bucket and I've noticed personally that in a lot of places in Texas, the water is hard because it's coming out of bores and it doesn't hydrate the gels very well at all. So sometimes you find you have to actually use drinking water, like bottled water to hydrate the gels properly. But on the back of the pack, it gives you instructions on how to hydrate the gels. But if you were gonna hydrate this whole bag, which is 10,000 gels, I would put about a third to half a bucket of water in a five gallon bucket and then you drop them in the water and you've got to wait at least four hours. Now sometimes they might look good after two hours 
but you just got to leave them for four hours because they don't hydrate to the right size. They won't create an air seal, which means they won't fire properly. They'll probably just roll out the barrel. I like to actually put them in the night before. The next day, they're good to go. So what I do then is I strain out most of the water through a strainer and I like to leave just a little bit of water in the bottom of the bucket so that when I'm storing them, I can put a lid on the bucket and keep them airtight. And they'll last for a couple of months like that. So we'll get back to actually the mag itself and how you load the mag. You just scoop them up in your hand and you can see there's a little bit of water coming through there. I just kind of leave it like that. Now, that's good. You don't need to have them dry because they need to be a little bit wet so that they slide down the barrel better. And then you just pour them into the mag like that. You fill it up, close the hatch, and then you put the mag into the mag well and it'll click. Now on the back of both of these items it has a prime handle so you just pull it a little bit and you, you'll be able to hear it making a noise so what it has it has a motor in the bottom of the mag and that'll force the gels up into the receiver and when you pull this uh, um, the, the, the prime handle you don't want to pull it off like this is a toy okay so don't like be getting over excited and actually ripping the thing out of the back you just pull it like that and it's fine this has standard M4 controls, so pointing forward it's on safety, at 12 o'clock it's on single fire, and all the way back at 180 degrees is full auto. I'm going to pull out the marksman so you can have a look at that. Now the marksman is exactly the same, it's, it has the same M4 selector controls, it has the same prime handle on the top. The only difference with this one is a different stock. So this one, the battery just simply goes inside of here. Now another thing that you could really, that I really do recommend is what we call a um, speed loader. I'm just gonna go get one. So this is a speed loader and this is really handy you can fit in here probably, I mean, I'm only guessing, but you probably get about 600 gels in this thing. And it makes it really easy to get the gels inside of the mag. Oh, by the way, your mag release is in the normal position. Just push that button in and the mag will pop out. It makes it a lot easier to get the gels into the mag if you use a speed loader, you can just drop it in like that. And these are on our website. Now when you finish using your gel blaster, what you need to do is you need to get the gels out of the mag. So just pour them back into wherever you're keeping them. And then in the front of the mag it has a feeder tube. And these gels won't come out by pouring them out. You have to actually flick it. Right, so when you get them all out, leave this door open so that the moisture that's inside the mag doesn't corrode the motor. Because there's a motor in the bottom of this mag and you can see on the top here, it has two battery terminals. And this is one of the things that makes it different to Airsoft because obviously Airsoft don't have a motor in the mag, they just have a wheel with a spring. So remember to grab your gels from the website because they don't come with gels. I mentioned it before. And if you do all of that, you'll just have a great time. Thank you.